gave you both the instructions in the dress room. I just want to remind you, listen, obey my commands at all time, protect yourself at all time. God bless both of you and good luck. Meaning land something significant? To get some respect, because if he doesn't, Gennady Golovkin will walk right through you. Everybody talks about Golovkin's power punching. He lands more jabs per round than any top fighter in the sport. An average of 11 jabs landed per round. Fighters throw a lot of jabs, generally don't land them at a very high percentage. Controls distance well, cuts the ring well. Very economical, a guy that doesn't waste a lot of punches. Fight pretty smart from the start. He's standing right in, not wasting a lot of energy because he knows that Rubio with the experience factor probably expects to take him the distance or try to get him in that deep water, which is what we call the late rounds. Back Golovkin up at one point with a jab. Lamp when, when Golovkin jabs, his right hand comes out a little bit too to catch a counter. And it's uh, discouraging for his opponent. He hasn't been tested of postseason baseball. Rubio, or excuse me, Golovkin, has a Dodger logo on his trunks, hoping to help build a little more affection here in Southern California. And Adrian Gonzalez is in the crowd. Dodger first baseman. A hard hook and a right hand by Golovkin. Rubio comes back with a right hand of his own. You see Gennady coming forward. They, they exchange hooks, then he lands an overhand right, followed by another overhand right. GGG with a 16 to 10 ed edge in power shots. No great power puncher is an immaculate defender, and Golovkin is no different than that. So far, his chin has withstood everything, and right now he's getting to throw but he power shots at Rubio. He talks not only of his Mexican style, Golovkin, but of his predator instinct, and you can see it there. And to hurt. Rubio working to the body, getting in a couple of good shots. Golovkin comes back to the body and gets in a better shot. That last exchange. Oh, good uppercut. Hard uppercut by Golovkin. Momentarily wobbled Rubio. Now he's got him pinned against the ropes. And see how he varies here. Predator at work. Down goes Rubio. Touch, touch, touch. <laughs> smash. Cinco. Left hook smash. Siete. Ocho. Nueve. Yes. Second round knockout. He didn't make it up. Rubio is indicating that he didn't hear the count or that something happened to the back of his head, but it looked to me, Roy, like he wasn't, he'd had enough. He didn't want to get up. It's uppercut right here, as you see from Triple G. A left hook to the head followed by a beautiful right uppercut. That would make you quickly realize that maybe you don't have a chance and maybe you have stepped in a, a, a fire a little bit more hotter than you expected it to be. Followed by a beautiful body shot, then he continues the attack. But that right uppercut was a devastating shot, and then down he goes from the left hook. And maybe that is to Golovkin's credit that he could beat the fight out of a real fighter like Rubio seemingly so easily. And look yeah. at how he adjusted the arc that's what on Rubio, the left hook that's what Rubio to get said. it over Rubio's guard. He said he hit me in the top of the head. He sure did, and he seemed like he jammed your neck down to where your chin was supposed to be. And my goodness, what a power shot that guy can throw. The winner by knockout victory, his record now, 31 fights. 31 victories, 28 knockouts, 18 consecutive knockouts to date, and he is still the undefeated middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Triple G. Golovkin.